Yo, what is up guys? It's Sol here coming at you with my first video. I'm going to be starting a new series where I'm pretty much going to cover all the Rally and Soul matchups and stuff like that. In this case, we're going to be covering the Syndra matchup, which is actually a pretty interesting matchup. Uh, before we hop into the game, just a little bit about myself. I was the former rank 1 Aurelian Soul in North America for a couple months. I reached around 152 LP Masters, primarily playing our lovely Space Dragon. And I just wanted to make a couple videos to help out the Rally and Soul communities with matchups and stuff. And maybe we can get more people to play our lovely Space Doggo. Ruins are going to be on the screen now. But the only thing that I do different is I run Cheap Shot over uh, Taste of Blood. Which uh, some people will think it's whatever, but it's just like my playstyle. I like to burst and it uh, really helps out with that extra damage. It does a lot, so if you haven't tried it, I recommend you guys try it out. Okay, so the first thing on matchup is that you want to be thinking about your wave state and how the waves are going to go. Uh, for this matchup, it's Syndra. I don't really outpush her and she doesn't really outpush me, so the wave should be neutral, meaning that the waves are just going to meet in the center constantly. But we'll see it how we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to start W here. You want to make sure for this matchup to try and dodge the Qs. Obviously, the more Qs you dodge, the better. And she's going to get the first shove. Um, the trick, though, with Ace with uh, Syndra players is that you actually want to walk towards them and start walking back because that's usually where they predict their Q. We're actually winning a lot of these trades. Um, I'm not hitting as much CS as I'd like to though. But against like these mage matchups, like the Ori, like the Syndra, you're usually gonna fall behind in CS, but you're gonna get ahead uh, later. Make sure to call your missing pings. She's missing, so I'm gonna shove the wave and then look for a realm. Looks like she reset. So I'm gonna shove the wave. I'm actually gonna look bot here. Make sure that when you're roaming, you're constantly pinging. Kind of sad that I couldn't get a kill there. A good pattern to know of when to roam with ASO is that you want to make sure your wave is good. And if you can check that off on your checklist, then you can go for the roam. Make sure you're constantly looking in the map with your ASO. The E is so powerful, it can impact games really hard. And we're going to get a reset here. I usually go boots into seal and then maybe a pink for your first back. See that Syndra's missing, so normally if Syndra would have shoved this wave, I would have eaten back to lane. Your E can be used for numerous things, things like roaming, getting back to lane faster. Sometimes you can even use it as escape, so uh, hopefully we can showcase that maybe in this game. Uh, one thing that a lot of Relian Soul players have trouble with is they actually just flip their whole game by uh, roaming without even shoving their wave. and. And just hoping that uh, the roam works out, which obviously sometimes it might work, but it's actually going to result in a lower win rate if you're constantly flipping roams where you're just sacking waves for roams. Because sometimes those roams won't even work out. Um, we're going to look bot though. Make sure that we're constantly pinging. Damn. Pretty unfortunate that all the homies had to die, but at least we got a kill out of it. We're going to fix their wave for them. So you see that this wave is going to crash. Make sure that you're fixing waves for your uh, teammates, guys. Um, it's really important. Trust me. Just going to go Sork Shoes for more burst here. Run back to lane. Wow, appreciate the pink, Mr. Tarek. Just to talk about that ward, uh, most players out actually do that against you because they know that Aesol roams a lot and it's just a good roam. See that I might be getting ganked here. It got good damage off. Again, we're shoving roam, shoving roam, shoving roam. We see that Karma's bot. We might be able to go again. We're just going to go again. Damn. We don't have enough damage for this. What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we're just going to clear the minion wave and hopefully get a reset off. What? What the fuck? Okay, this guy's overextending, so I'm going to run up. Oh, we have Predator Kiana. Get the stun off. Triple stun. Get the shutdown onto Draven. Lucian will catch mid wave, and I'm just going to get a reset off. Not bad, not bad. It was a little weird. Uh, some unfortunate events there, but actually worked out. You're mostly going to roam towards bot. 
just because top is usually more tanky and I mean in this case it's a Jace uh, so Jace will pretty much have prio most of the time um, so maybe we can look for a roam possibly but you're usually gonna start roaming towards bot he just used a stun he should fall this Kiana is smurfing on them maybe I could go bot again maybe I'll just perma go bot this game hello Oh! Oh! Dab on them. So if you see what I did there, my Q was about to run out. As you know, your Q scales with distance. Uh, so in order for me to hit the Karma, I really had to flash. So that's just like another tip. If you really want to get a kill down and you need to extend your Q range, just flash. In that case, it was actually needed. So we have 7 KP this game, which is more than 50%. So right now we have 63 CS at 10 minutes, which is not that optimal, but we have been roaming a lot. Um, obviously in cases where you're not roaming that much, you're going to have higher CS. Make sure you're getting your wards out, guys. Wards are pretty important. Just hit level 9, so I want to make sure to get blue trinket when I go back. We could possibly look for this. Just going to EQ. Beautiful. That was actually a solo kill. So that's just another way to use your E. You can use it as a roam opportunity, but you can also use it as a short engage tool. Get the stun onto Karma. I mean, this guy will surely fall. Maybe you can get drag. It looks like they should be fine. So what I'm going to do here is I actually want to reset. Well, in order to do that, I'm going to press W and I'm going to press B. So I'm still outputting damage, but I'm getting my recall off, which is just to save a little bit of time. We get Crown of the Shattered Queen. Um, I'm still doing testings in terms of item for the new season. It seems like this item is pretty good, but it might be situational. In this case, against a Syndra with their uh, R combo, it sounds pretty good. So that's a pretty good item to go. We can go on this. She just whiffed it and she's gonna go down so now we're gonna be getting into mid game here um you kind of just want to start farming up probably gonna look for less roams around the map just because laning phase is over looks like i have to reset uh, so we kind of want to start power farming now just so that we're viable late game just gonna look for a pick here and kind of a ram it i'm pretty strong but i don't want to give up my shutdown Maybe I'll just go for blue here. Here, maybe look for kill opportunities. We can go. Oh! Damn, couldn't really grab the kill there, unfortunately. Maybe grab the stun. Not going to quite work out. Unfortunately, Karma didn't die. Could have flashed for it, but it's not that worth it. And he's just going to walk up like a dumbass. Grab this tower, reset. Maybe look to go to the side lane. Top is pretty low. I don't want to overextend. Again, guys, notice how much I'm pinging on ASL. This champion probably requires the most pings in the game to play. Just because of how proactive you are on the map with your E, you need to make sure you're letting your teammates know that you're coming. Just gonna go up to the side lane here in the top lane. I see this tower is low, so maybe look to grab it. In terms of build, the new build for Aesol, people are saying to go Crown into Rylize into Horizon Focus because Horizon Focus procs with slows now. We don't really know if it's the most optimal build, and I forgot my blue board again. Uh, we don't really know if it's the most optimal build, but it seems pretty good, so Aesol players will continue testing for that. Oh, hi, Jace. I can probably fight this guy. He's 1 in 5. Aesol's actually not that good at 1v1ing, so there's a possibility I can actually lose this. For the sake of the video, I might just try. Oh, he actually just Q's in. And he should die. I'll just, uh... I'll just, uh, kill him with my star. Oh, okay. Bruh, am I really gonna have to flash? <laughs> 
So, I mean, I could have flashed for that, and I could have not BM, so I killed him, but, uh... Oh, okay. We're just gonna group towards Rift Herald, maybe grab this for health, so we don't die. Grab that. This guy's just inting, actually. They're gonna be on Dragon, so I see that, uh, this guy's on Dragon. Could fight this guy. I want to make sure that I'm not getting R'd. Oh shit. <laughs> Monka S. This guy got wrecked. I mean, it's really okay if we give drags. This game is probably going to end before Soul. Kill that guy real quick. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh god, I'm dead. It's okay. Gold reset. It was a little greedy to use Flash Ignite on a 1 in 6 Jace. I should have actually just backed off and not risk my shutdown. But luckily, it just went to Karma. So, free gold reset, I guess. Grab Rylize. Make sure that when you're dead, you're actively thinking of where exactly you want to go next. In this case, I probably just want to run it down mid. Make sure to get that blue trinket we were talking about. Like I said in the first part of the video that my CS might lack in the Cinder lane, but... I'm now gapping here by 20 CS. That's usually how mage matchups go, just because mages will tend to zone you uh, early game in CS, but obviously late game, you're just going to be side laning and they can't really do that. As far as blue trinkets go, make sure to get them down as soon as possible because you want to get them on cooldown constantly just so you can get more, if that makes sense. And sometimes these blue trinkets, they don't have a timer on them, so they can't expire. So sometimes you can have about like three on the map. Grab blue here. You want to be constantly looking for picks, like this one, maybe. Couldn't quite get the stun down. As far as like mid to early late game goes, you want to be looking at the map constantly and seeing if you can pick anyone out with your E. Uh, in this case, there's no one in the side lane, so not really looking to do that. Let's clear this mid wave. They're pinging for Baron. Let's get mid prio into Baron. You can actually zone pretty well when you're taking heavy objectives like Baron with Aesol because of the stun, but looks like they don't want to contest, but if they do want to contest, I'm literally going to walk up. Hello. Okay. Oh god. Okay, looks like we're just going to turn here. Guys, the Draven. Make sure you're positioning well. I'm actually kind of losing this fight. Oh, we're actually kind of losing this. Let's back up. Oh god, boys. Okay. He actually decides to flash towards me, so I'm just going to arm away. Okay, Mordekaiser going to E towards the fight again. Maybe help him out. Get the stun down. Maybe we can get this. Actually, a pretty sloppy fight. Um, I don't think I necessarily played it too bad, but... Had some positional mistakes and I could have uh, used my stun better. If we're talking about team fights with ASO, you want to make sure that every single Q that you throw is is like optimal because I find it a lot where if I miss one Q, it actually changes the course of the fight. Want to work towards Horizon Focus? Grab that. We're level 14. We're farming pretty well. We're two levels ahead of the Syndra. We're going to look towards Drag here, so I'll ping it. Again, guys, ping. Communicate with your team. It's one thing to be a good ASO player, but it's another thing to be a good League of Legends player. And honestly, rather be... I'm going to look for this solo onto Draven. Wasn't exactly a solo. Mr. Lucian decides to gun him down. Drag is ours, so we're just going to shove down mid here. Notice how I'm constantly looking at my map for E plays. That's how you want to carry on ASO. Because a lot of time, this is uh, around like Diamond 4 ELO. OP.GG should have been in the beginning of the game. And they're actually going to surrender. So that's going to be a GG. That's going to be it for the video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed that commentary. That was my first video, so I'm still learning on how to make good content for you guys. But I always want to keep improving. So if you guys have any tips, make sure to comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.